Hey guys, happy Friday. It's operations time again already again two days in a row. Wow. Oh my goodness All right. Well, uh, as usual here, we're just gonna pick up where we left off here We're gonna be doing a little bit of yard work to, today and I uh, got a bunch of locomotives in here uh, We got to get cleared up and uh, we had uh, our box cars or our box cars our train our hauler that came in here uh, That we can see here in the foreground and wow ooh, it's making lots of noise uh, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and classify those cars, kind of chop them up, see where they're gonna be going, and uh, we're gonna get some of the old stuff out of the uh, yard over here. So first off, let me uh, hey, let's see, let's go ahead and get the hauler fired up over here. We'll get the lights on, and uh, that's this guy right here. And then while he's getting fired up, I'm gonna go ahead and quiet down all the other guys that are making a racket over there. And uh, let's see here, we'll get all these guys quieted down. <laughs> kind of funny, I should have done this before I started the video, but oh well, I know how it goes. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. Looking forward to the uh, weekend there. All right, I think we got almost everybody else uh, quieted down here. I can still hear somebody over there making a racket. We're gonna be in the yard goat uh, today. Who's it? Oh, it's our SD40. There you are. There we go. All right. So, uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's get fired up over here. All right. So first off, uh, this is our hauler that came in. Dropped off all these cars. Now right next to them over here is uh, all the cars getting picked up that we kind of put together yesterday. So let's disconnect over here. And I'm gonna go make sure. Let's see. Yard. There we go. I'm changing one of my turnouts back there because we're going to have to pull forward here a bit. And I figured, uh, you know, usually what I do, uh, now that I've got kind of the, the new layout, well, a kind of new method of operating my staging, which isn't doesn't exist yet, but uh, I used to have um, staging kind of ran off of the main line over here. Let me go ahead and show you here. So here's the main line over on my uh, fascia right here. And it actually split up right here and you can still see the remnants of it. And it went back behind there and behind the backboard and that's where staging was. And so I, what I did was when uh, like a hauler came in or something, like for instance, this guy, and he was gonna pick up some stuff, uh, he would, go out the way he's going here, go all the way back around, then up the main line, which runs alongside the yard here, and then out towards staging. But we're kind of doing it different now. Now, let me go ahead and just uh, flop around my tracks here. That one, that one, that one. Okay, there we go. But I figured, uh, you know, so anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, so uh, he would run kind of off of this side of the yard here. He'd, uh, you know, drop cars off and the locomotives would uh, depart out of this end here to go back towards staging. Well, uh, now that that staging doesn't exist and it kind of, my staging still is gonna be over there, but it's gonna be on the other side and uh, go through the backdrop over there. We were kind of running staging in the opposite direction, meaning like the locomotives would depart that end of the yard to kind of go out to staging. But I figured, what the heck. Let's, uh, let's, let's do a little old school over here. While we're uh, just having some fun, let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead. We're going to hook up to our departing hauler here, and we're going to run him out just like he normally would, except, uh, obviously, he's not going to go back into the non-existent staging. Right, uh... Right there is good. All right. But we are going to have him run up the main line because I just haven't run anything up the main line over here in like a while. So uh, we got the turnout set at least. Uh, yeah, over there one is set. Let's go ahead and uh, set the camera down here. You can watch these guys run on out. I'm going to go ahead and switch one of my other turnouts there for the main line. Oops, wrong one. I'll get this figured out one day. All right, here we go. Put my 
glasses on so I could see my uh, Stanton uh, industrial lead turnout down there. Yep, it looks good. Hopefully I don't got any uh, nails in my uh, unballasted track over here that's going to cause us trouble. So we haven't seen a... Uh, we haven't seen a train run on the main line here in quite a bit, like I said, and that's how I figured out what the heck. While well, we're running out to staging, you know, we could kind of technically still do this. We could still run, or I should say we, me, I could actually run it out this way and then just kind of back into staging over there, you know? Come to think of it, that kind of makes sense. We'll wait for this guy to pull all the way out of the yard over here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, change our turnout. And then we'll go, we'll jump over to the uh, the other side of the layout there so we can see him uh, come up the, uh, up the main line where it splits to the other end of the yard. All right, here we go. So main line, there we go. All right, got that, got that turnout switched. Uh, somebody over there was asking me, by the way, while we're over here, uh, they were asking me how high, I usually get this question a little bit, um, how high is my layout and how high is the backdrop and all that good stuff? Well, since the layout is in my garage, and you know, garage floors are usually sloped, you know, coming out from the house, out towards the driveway, which is that way. And so uh, my layout is 46 inches over on this end, 44 inches over on that end, and then the backdrop here is uh, 12 inches from here to here. So, yeah, looking, look that just to let everybody know, because I always get that question. All right, we got to turn out way back there. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to the main line here on my tortoise. I'm going to finally start using my three tortoises I have on the layout here. I'm going to go ahead and put this camera down so you guys can watch all the fun without me shaking it. Now I haven't, like I said, I haven't run up on the main line here in a while, so hopefully we don't get any electrical issues. We shouldn't. I think we took care of our last uh, little issue over there. Way off there in the left on that corner. And the camera is sitting on the main line here, so <laughs> we're gonna have to move it here in a second. We'll watch this guy run by. Looking nice. Turnout set correctly over here, I hope. Uh, yes, they look correct. Hopefully we don't have any issues. Like I said, this uh, little patch of track uh, is not ballasted yet. I know, I'll get to it. So this is where it would normally split off and uh, head up the uh, head up that non-existent track now that's been pulled up and out back behind the backdrop into like a very small staging area, but now what we're gonna do is uh, right about uh, where the uh, the riding ring is right there, back behind Shasta Beverage, behind that tree, we'll have a hole that goes back behind uh, the backdrop and into staging, so kind of the opposite direction that we're going. But what I'm saying is that we could actually just run the train all the way this way, and then just back into staging, if we had to. And uh, what I'm going to do now is we're going to kind of simulate it here. Because I'm using the, uh, the new section behind us. 
behind the camera that is as uh, sort of my pseudo staging so what would normally happen here is now if we we're a little bit farther down the line we'd back into our uh, into staging let's see now I can't tell which direction we're gonna be going but we'll find out very quick here yep we're going the right direction So I'm just going to put these cars right off here to the left and uh, left of uh, your screen there, that is. And we'll take them, um, well, we'll say they're in staging. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I was going to say, normally what I would do is like kind of pick up the cars and just put them up on top of the shelf right here. And, uh, and then just kind of mix and match them. But since I was saying in the other video, I need more cars, uh, basically... There, these are the same cars. They're all going to go back out, you know, and uh, and go back out to the yard after we uh, kind of do a little uh, little swapping, put some wood uh, stuff on the wood uh, cars and that kind of thing. Ooh, very fun. Love it. Love this guy. All right, great. Right there is good, as long as he's out of our way. All right, we'll go ahead and shut him down, turn all the lights off. He is now technically in staging. All right. And while he shuts down, I'm going to quiet him down. Now, we got, uh, oh boy, we got all the guys over here on the SD40. Um, and we got the, uh, the Santa Fe uh, GP7s. They all got to get out of the way here. They got to get, uh, we got to put them away here. Because we're gonna we're, we're back to UP uh, land in the com in the com in the, in the modern era here. So let's get these guys fired up. Yeah, let me figure out where to put this camera. And I think what I'm gonna do is uh, we'll just consist all three of these together. So let me see. That was consist L O A forty four. There we go. We'll get the GP7Us fired up, and uh, and I'm going to go ahead and edit my consist for those two. And I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, the SD40 to the consist. Well, actually, you know what? I should probably connect up first. So let's do that. The light on. There we go. We'll connect up the SD or uh, the SD40 to the GP7s here, and then we'll consist them all together and get them out of our way. A little bit more, a little bit more bang right there. All right, perfect. All right, and then on my uh, controller here. Let me just show you how this is uh, how this is working out. Uh, here we go. Put it right there. Eh, come on, so you can actually see it <laughs> without a big light in the way. All right, here we go. All right, so here is the uh, LOA 44, which is my consist. There's our two locomotives. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus because we're going to add. Uh, we're going to add the SD40 to the mix right there, and he is going in the same direction as the 1317. Uh, yep, yep, so that's all good. We're going to go ahead and save that. Now we got our brakes on. That's how easy it is to uh, at least put together a consist here. So all consisted together. The only thing I'm going to do is we'll get the uh, SD40 fired up. So the way I do that is I just, I just give it a little gas right there and we should start firing him up. I think. <laughs> we'll see here in a second. Yeah, he's just quiet. That's what it is, I think. Anyway, we're going to roll this guy out. Oh, we're rolling this way, aren't we?
There we go. I think he had him on, had him on silent there, so I had to kind of, uh, I had to make him silent, the whole consist, and then, uh, and then bring the sound back up. All right, let me double check my turnouts here so I don't start shorting everything out. Hey, we got all the guys on the uh, SD40 there. We're gonna get rid of them. They're gonna jump off and uh, Right here, as a matter of fact. Go ahead and get these guys off. All right, Engineer Rick, come here. You can get back over here to the platform. Uh, Benjamin, you too. And Mr. Uh, Mr. Sanford there. We'll get him off. And then uh, Mr. Torres, we'll get him off. All right, there we go. Because we're gonna put these guys away. So I don't want them uh, all stuck in uh, locomotive storage, you know what I mean? There we go. Playing around with the sound there a little bit. They do sound nice though, don't they? went over there to the uh, couple storage tracks there and made sure I fired them up. Oh, right there is good. Oh, they sound nice together, don't they? them run all the way up over there. I'm getting bright. Here, I'm gonna put the camera over here. We'll watch them run up the up the line. And let's see, I guess that's good right there. You get the big picture. two little storage tracks over here while we run into them. Uh, you can kind of see right there. The one in the back's a little bit longer right there and so it uh, fits, uh, fits the three locomotives here, the three Santa Fe's, just perfectly. And I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera here ever so slightly. There we go. It's just a little bit too bright there. And this night might not be the funnest uh, little uh, operations here today, but hey, listen, we had our fun yesterday. Today uh, we got to get uh, we got to get a little bit of yard work done here. I got to get stuff cleaned up. And right there will do. Perfect. Go ahead and uh, shut those guys down. Ooh, all right, it's looking nice over here already. Now, uh, we still gotta do a little uh, locomotive swap in here because, uh, you know, the way it goes here, I'll put that power off. So, we got the yard consist sitting over here in the foreground with the graffiti there next to the guys, and then the, the local, our uh, LOA 32, is sitting in the background, kind of, well, blocking the track a little bit, I guess. But, uh, oh yeah, you know, we still got to fix this guy here. I got to put the, the little rail down there, a little safety rail, I guess. Fell off. Uh, let me see, what are we going to do here? We're going to fire up the yard consist, and we'll run out the left side of the yard. So, uh, let's jump into that. We'll get that fired up. See here, yard. All right. Ooh, 
Ooh, sounded nice. I like it. Uh, you know what? While we're uh, while we're getting him fired up, let me see if the new guy is around anywhere. We're gonna have the new guy running the uh, running the show over here, at remote control. Let me see if he'll fit on here. Oh, without me knocking everything over. Holy smokes. Ay, ay, ay. I dropped him on his head right there. Eh, come on. There, get... Oh, my goodness sakes. All right, here we go. The new guy. He's got the yellow hat. And uh, I just painted his hat, so I didn't want to really touch it too much because it might still be damp a little bit right there. But there we go. The new guy's going to be running the... Uh, the consist over here. All right, enough bells there, new guy. All right, let's back up over here a little bit and. Uh, yeah, he's all sounding good. Just gonna get my turnouts done over on this end of the yard, and then we shall run all the way down here. Yeah. We'll take one of the tracks. I think we'll take, uh, what is that, track six. See, now I know what my tracks are since I, I labeled them. Not labeled them, well, I decided on how to uh, how to, uh, uh, well, you know, call them with, with, with track numbers and all that. Decided that yesterday with the official, um, you start with the main line, which is by the, uh, the fascia here, and then you just, uh, you, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we got seven. You got seven tracks, not counting the, uh, the two storage tracks back there. And, uh, we do count the, uh, little, uh, locomotive, uh, staging, let's call it, uh, where we pulled out of there. That's track one. So we left track one and we're gonna be going up here and then uh, back down on track six. Yeah, it's a fun Friday over here in Southern California. At least it's not windy anymore. Somebody mentioned uh, in the video yesterday, they were watching, uh, you know, LAX Live, and uh, sure enough, it was windy. I didn't, I didn't watch it myself. I occasionally watch the, you know, the uh, plane spotter guys. And uh, yeah, it was windy here yesterday. Today, it is nice and sunny, but a little cool. I think we're only supposed to get up towards uh, 60 or something like that. I know, for us, it, that's cold. All right. Now, while we run up here, let me get uh, my turnout set. All right, that's all good. We gotta try to figure out what to do with this, uh, this train over here. We got uh, three box cars, uh, three tank cars, two hoppers, and another box car over there. I we'll have to figure out what uh, what exactly we're going to be doing here. Now, uh, if you saw yesterday's video, and if you haven't, go go watch that one first, then come back here. And then, uh, yeah, we were talking about uh, doing uh, industries down there in the uh, Anaheim, Cerritos, La Mirada area, which is uh, that end right there that we're looking at. So uh, I think this is easy enough. the uh, The tank cars, we'll say, are all going down there to uh, tighten transfer all the way there in the end. And then uh, the box cars, we got, uh, let's see, three of them. Let's say those guys are all gonna go down to Shasta Beverage and Royal Plywood. That just uh, takes care of our hoppers. The hoppers can get switched out over there. I'm thinking in my head here. <laughs> So basically, most of the industries all along the backboard right there are going to get, not the backboard, but that side right there is what I mean, is going to get switched out. So Shasta Beverage uh, right there, the unlabeled 
industry, those two cars right there, those are going to get switched out. There's Royal Plywood, we'll do a car over there. That takes care of the three box cars. And then the three tank cars all the way down here where that other tank car is sitting, they'll go get put into there. And then behind it is the hoppers. We'll do the two hoppers over there. That leaves us one box car to do. And we will drop him off at uh, Atherin over there since uh, Atherin hasn't had a box car in quite a little bit. So that's really kind of two trains the way I the way I work things here. So let's see. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty easy split over here. We just got to take the two hoppers in that box car and set them aside because that they'll go out on a reg on a, a separate local as opposed to the uh, the other cars. So we'll just split this in half and then uh, call it a day. Let's, uh, let me fix my little palm tree right here. All right, so let's grab the cars to start out with. Right there, there, there. All right, new guy. You know, the new guy, he's got to have, uh, he's got to wear the UP yellow hat. Because he's not cool yet. He, he doesn't get, uh, he can't wear the, uh, you know, he can't wear uh, the L.A. hat. He, what is that, L.A. Dodgers? <laughs> I live here and I don't even know. Yeah, L.A. Dodgers blue hat like uh, Mr. Torres there. Or the purple hat like Mr. Uh, Mr. Samford. Or the red uh, MAGA hat like Engineer Rick. Whoa, that didn't trigger anybody. <laughs> it's Friday. I'm having some fun. All right, let's pull on out of here. And uh, let's see. Now, this track that we're actually pulling off of, which is track three now, technically, uh, that's usually the departure track. So that's usually the track where I stage all the cars that would normally get picked up by the hauler and taken out of the yard. Uh, the track to the right of us here, which is track uh, four, is the arrival track. So a hauler coming in here would get uh, go down on that track. But we got all mixed up and everything with this whole, uh, I don't know, you know, fun, whatever we're having here. And uh, in the last few episodes. So stuff got a little mixed up and uh, that's why we're, you know, we're actually pulling... The hauler came in, dropped stuff off on the departure track instead of the arrival track. You know how it goes. Over here, we're not, uh, you know, we're not stickling. We're just a small little yard over here in, uh, you know, Santa Fe Springs. We just do what we can. Right, guys? Here you go. They're all watching a new guy. Seeing what's he, what's he going to screw up here. So a quick quick split up here. We'll take uh, this box car and the two hoppers, and we'll just put them on track uh, two, and then uh, and then we'll put the other cars over on track three, and uh, we'll be ready. We can uh, then uh, call it a day, and then it's all set for the uh, the next local. And I think we're already set up on track uh, two there. Yep. So far, still so good. You guys not screwing up. Yeah, I gotta get some plaster. I gotta get some plaster cloth and actually take care of these uh, snow-covered mountains here. They're not that high. Uh, so yeah, speaking of snow-covered mountains, uh, yeah, this morning we had a little bit of snow up on the mountain. I think uh, we had a little low-pressure system that uh, dived down over uh, Southern California. That gave us our wind yesterday, and uh, they call it the snow level here for the, you know, for the the regular folk. Uh, it's the actually freezing level was uh, kind of down low towards like 5,000 feet or something like that. And so, um, we actually had a little bit of snow. You know, we had some, a couple little showers pass through, that kind of thing. None over at my house, but... Uh, I can't find my skewer. 
but out over the hills there a little bit. And so uh, this morning I was out there drinking my coffee and I realized, ooh, look at that. There's a little bit of snow on the hills. All right, right there is good, new guy. All right, come on, Let's get back here. We really should put this thing on a swivel or something. <laughs> You know, I've said it before, uh, I love doing yard work. I love just sitting here. Usually I have my little uh, stool. Oh yeah, that's somebody else was asking there about the height. I almost forgot I was talking about that at, when we were running the uh, holler, I believe. The, uh, yeah, the height of my layout and uh, I, I sit on my stool. And so pretty much your eye level right here, that's kind of my eye level when I'm sitting on my stool. Almost exact. And the camera there is sitting, oh, about, I don't know, six inches. The lens is uh, right about six inches off of the, off of the uh, top of the, uh, the layout here. So that's about where my head is when I'm, uh, when I'm normally running without filming. Especially in the yard here, because, you know, you don't have to, I have one of those little, like, uh, stools with the wheels on it. And uh, it's perfect for just sitting here in the yard and moving cars in and out. I love doing the yard work. And I remember back, uh, you know, some of you old timers, you'll remember this when I first started the layout, I didn't have the yard. Um, and I thought maybe, I don't know, that would be boring having all, you know, just doing yard stuff. But, you know, stupid me. Uh, I quickly learned after I put in a little yard here and it was actually going to be staging this was actually going to be my staging area and I then decided well I had like three tracks so you can go back go back in my videos and you'll see I don't know a couple years back um, let me see I think we only had I think we didn't have all this yeah because here's the line all I had was these tracks this one here this, 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 and that. That's it. That was all the tracks I had. And then so I added in an extra foot here of uh, stuff. Bench work. And uh, added in the rest of the yard because it was so much fun. And now, it's like one of my favorite things to uh, do is come sit here on my stool and... Uh, do some yard classification. Uh, obviously, this one was pretty uh, straightforward, just splitting the train up into two trains. Uh, but uh, hey, it's kind of interesting how we uh, evolve <laughs> in our uh, you know model railroading. It's always good to try different things. That's, uh, that's what I guess what I'm trying to get at here. You never know what uh, what might uh, float your boat here a little bit, right, new guy? Oh, he's loving it. All right, well, we're gonna park it over here, or at least the new guy is, and then uh, we'll call it a day here. Hope anybody enjoyed that little, a uh, little bit of operations back here. But uh, you know, back-to-back -back ops. You had the big ops yesterday, and a little bit of yard work over here today. A little bit of chit chat as usual, and uh, and you get to you get to officially see the new guy with his yellow hat right there. All right, guys, I'll leave you right there as a new guy pulls in over there and shuts down. And I uh, hope you guys have a good weekend. And uh, who knows? Uh, it's supposed to be start warming up over here like Monday, so that means I will probably be in here playing with trains all weekend so don't be surprised if you get a, an extra video I'm not promising it but we'll see what happens all right new guy till next time guys take care have a good weekend if I don't see you I'll see you in the next video